Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome to a VPN review. Today we're checking out NordVPN. Uh, we've reviewed this on the channel for many years, but I wanted to do a new update since it has moved up in the rankings a little bit. So guys, if you didn't know, I'm one of the first people on YouTube to start reviewing VPNs. And in fact, I was the very first person to make a huge VPN tier list. Today, it still is up to date um, with over, I don't know, 30 plus VPNs. Back in the day, I had like 70, but a lot of those VPNs have just simply died or not been updated for a long time. Now, the problem with VPN reviews on YouTube is that there's a lot of kind of weird channels out there that actually use the same voice actor or person or something like that. Look no further than Consumer Research Studios with this voice. Welcome back, and today I'm going to talk about NordVPN. Geek Man. Welcome back. So today I want to talk about some of the best v VPN discovery. Welcome back, and today I wanted to bring you guys a... Cyber Geeks. Welcome back. So today I wanted to quickly show you guys how... You VPN Ninja. Welcome back, and today I wanted to address this question, which is our free VPN... Panda Tech. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about some of the best free VP Masters of VPN. How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys. Look at their analytics. We could see a total of 523 likes and zero comments with 1.8 thousand views. Well, at least in my opinion, that seems very legitimate. There's like probably 30 other channels on YouTube specifically reviewing NordVPN encouraging you to buy it. That's because it's one of the most popular VPN products. That said, this video is going to be objective and tell you the real pros and cons to help you decide if you should buy this one or not. But that said, if you use my link in the description down below, you should get an extra two or three months included on top of the plan you pick. So it's a win-win for you. I'm not sponsored by NordVPN in this video. It's simply an affiliate link, just like I have with pretty much every other VPN provider. So click on that link to help support this objective review, as you'll see going forward. So how does NordVPN actually price it out? Well, I would say this is one of those categories that kind of fluctuates and changes a lot with NordVPN, actually. Um, now, the good news is for two years, it's pretty expensive. It's around $95, but like I said, you do get three months included on top of that, which is nice. You also have a couple other different plans like the Plus and Ultimate plan. Now, you can actually get um, additional free months with this as well with my link, but these plans also include kind of interesting things like data protection benefits, as well as encrypted, encrypted cloud storage, and you also get plus password manager and data breach scanner. Now, Nord, NordPass is what it's called. It's actually a pretty good password manager, and it's not a bad value proposition to add it on here. So it could be interesting to think if you want a password manager and encrypted cloud storage, and maybe some cyber protection benefit as included here on these ultimate plans. That's It's gonna be quite a bit more, um, but if you're already paying for a password manager and drive storage, it could be worth it. So that's something to think about. But in terms of my pricing schemes, well, you also have a monthly plan too, which is around $13 a month and also a yearly plan. $60 for one year is actually a pretty good deal. Now I'm gonna give it a point there actually because it didn't have one in the past. Um, it was around $59 right now and it was a little bit more expensive before, but it's good to see that they have improved that and made it a little bit more affordable for one year. Next up, we could kind of talk about some of the other plans. Now the three-year plan here isn't really offered. They used to have a three-year plan. It's kind of a shame to not see that anymore. Another thing to look for is refund policy. Nord does provide a 30-day refund policy, so that's good to see in case you don't like it. Now, the good thing about Nord, it is pretty easy to cancel in the main account panel, so it gets a point there for easy auto cancellation. Additionally, we kind of look out for other things with Nord. Um, some of the things are not my favorite with Nord. I think they have a little bit too many sales, a little bit too much going on every month after month. So it can be kind of confusing to pick the right and best deal, which is why I encourage people to use my link to lock in the best deal. But that said, Nord also has a lot of kind of different sales going on and things like that. Um, another thing to look out for is that um, it does increase after the first two years with the plans. So that's something to kind of be aware of. Um, it should increase to maybe like $100 year after year for that. So really the best deal is to get like a two year plan. And then after that, make sure to watch your subscription or maybe sign up with something like privacy.com and then renew another two years after that if that's what you want to do. So overall, NordVPN does have some fair cons in the pricing system. It's a little bit expensive for just a month a month, as you can see here. Um, it can be kind of confusing navigating all the different sales they have. So it could be more, in my opinion, better for consumers that have more of a consistent pricing schedule. The good news is though, it has a 30 day refund policy. The yearly plan is fairly affordable. 
And if you do buy a long-term plan, it's decently priced. All right, guys, next up, let's go to the application section. Now here's Northern VPN's application. And I do think it's actually a little bit updated since the last time I checked it out. Um, namely this kind of homepage, it looks a little different than I remember. Now, the interesting thing about Nord is I think it's actually one of the best VPNs in terms of its usability aspect. It's extremely easy to use and very well laid out. Um, you can tell they kind of designed this to be approachable for first time VPN users. Um, so it's interesting here because they have threat protection. This is pretty cool. It's pretty advanced. It has all sorts of little things you could turn on. All you basically have to do is click turn on and then it will add malware blocker, web tracker blocker and a couple of different of these things, which is really nice. This is almost like a antivirus light, and that's included with the base subscription, which is very good. Additionally, you also have this thing called file sharing. This is kind of NordVPN's mesh net feature, and this is very interesting. Basically, it enables you to remotely access your PC configuration and some of the files remotely. So let's say you have a Plex server running on your computer. If you stay connected to the mesh net, you could connect the mesh net on your phone or just connect to NordVPN on your phone or maybe even a friend's device and gain access to your local network. This could be very useful for LAN gaming or just accessing your media server or even just sharing files back and forth through an encrypted um, connection. So that is pretty cool. It's an extra value proposition that not really any other VPN has managed to copy um, or even do like this. So that's a nice value. Additionally, if we check out NordVPN's application and other aspects, you can see the VPN protocols allow for Nord Links, which is basically just their renaming of WireGuard. They also have a couple other features like custom DNS, which we do like. They also have split tunneling features, which enables you to kind of um, kind of segregate VPN use for different things. Additionally, you can see, oh, well, I went back to the same thing. You can see some customization options based on, you know, the, the appearance. If you wanted to connect on startup and stuff like that, here's split tunneling like I mentioned. So this is a pretty cool feature. You could make it so using NordVPN for your browser or a torrent application, but not for other things. And that does remind me one other reason why I like NordVPN is because it does provide a SOX5 proxy access. Not every VPN does provide this. So that is a good thing to see with NordVPN, especially if you want to torrent things and just use a SOX5 proxy, just to anonymize your IP, but not necessarily connect to VPN all the time. Overall, though, Nord is very easy to use. You see plenty of different servers. There's a couple different server options, but I don't really pay attention to these too much. All you have to do is search for a server close by to you or look at the different lists of servers and you can even pause your connection and so on. So overall, the application is very good. What could it improve though, since this is an objective review? Well, it doesn't really have a Linux GUI. It uses a command line interface for Linux, which could be improved, I think. The good news is, is their Linux CLI on Linux is open source. So that's definitely a solid thing. Additionally, NordVPN doesn't provide port forwarding. So in some cases, if you're like a power user when it comes to torrenting and VPNs, Nord might not be the right choice. And in that case, I might recommend TorGuard since it does provide port forwarding. But TorGuard also has some issues with torrenting on US servers, depending on just kind of some various things. So Nord, even if you really want the best speeds i still think it's a pretty good choice for torrenting especially since it comes with that sox proxy and if you don't know what port forwarding is probably doesn't really matter because you could still get very very good speeds with nordvpn even without it and additionally since it has such a big server network and optimizes its speed so well you probably will get faster speeds than something like um, a couple other different vpns out there and in fact the other vpns like molved and ivpn which were like the, the poster child of the torrenting community. They don't support port forwarding anymore either. And one of the only few VPNs that does right now is like AirVPN. And even that one is just a mess when it comes to its usability factors. Outside of that though, there really isn't too many cons with NordVPN's application. Uh, one of the good things is that they have an Apple TV application, which is kind of um, not every VPN does, which I do like. It's also constantly updated. This is something we look for in our VPN reviews nowadays in 2024. How often is the VPN application updated? The good news about Nord is whenever you check the application on the app stores, it's always like pretty updated. So that is very good to see. You want a VPN that's updated pretty frequently. Um, it works for torrenting in the USA and it includes some bonuses. Like I said, password manager, secure encrypted storages, and those are pretty good apps too. So overall, Nord, I think nowadays has one of the best applications. When I first started reviewing it like seven or eight years ago, it wasn't anything close to what it is today. Next up, we could talk about speeds and how we're gonna do that. Well, we're just gonna do a basic speed test with Nord VPN to see what we can get. But there you go, it's over 600, exactly kind of what I expected from Nord. Consistent, fast speeds, very nice. And it's even going up. God, speedtest.net sucks. 
All right, guys, so next up, let's go into our next section, which is going to be the privacy audit. Now, this is definitely somewhere Nord could improve, and that's not something you want to hear when it comes to VPN provider. That said, in a lot of cases, it's not really too much to worry about. Um, it's just kind of be me being nitpicky. When you look at a VPN like Nord, it's run like more of a traditional online business than some VPN providers out there. For example, it uses Google, Google Analytics on its website to kind of track customers and see how they're using their website. And that's pretty much a majority of what this is. Nothing really that nefarious. However, you know, it could optimize this and be even more privacy friendly, which is always a benefit and something we will push VPN providers to do. That said, NordVPN has had a lot of audits um, and stuff like that lately. It's never been acquired as a company. And overall, it's just a pretty solid VPN when it comes to privacy. I would just like to see some of this stuff improved on the main kind of application and websites, maybe collect a little less data, although they're not really trading or selling this data or anything like this like other companies would, probably just using it to optimize sales. Now, Nord has done a pretty good job over the last couple of years of being more transparent and security focused. They've performed multiple no log audits, which is good to see. Additionally, they also have a bug bounty program and 2FA on their website. So definitely appreciated by security enthusiasts. Next up, we can talk about Nord's customer support. In my experience, it's always had very solid customer support. Most of the time it has live chat on the website and ticket response times are very fast. So there's not really any complaints from me in this section either. And I don't want to spend too much time on it since if customer support is good, you don't even really have to think about it. If it's bad, it really could piss you off. But fortunately, that's not the case with Nord. Next up, we can talk about streaming compatibility. And this is actually one of my favorite regions uh, to use NordVPN is because it just has very good streaming compatibility. What do I mean by this? Well, it can unblock pretty much every region of Netflix you can want to watch. If you want to watch a Japanese version of Netflix, you just simply switch to a Japanese server and you'll get that unlocked. In my test, with it works with Netflix, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, HBO Max, Prime Video, and it also supports up to five plus Netflix regions, which is what we look for to see very good streaming compatibility. In fact, this is usually one of my top recommended options if someone specifically wants to geo hop and stuff like that. And I even own and moderate the largest kind of subreddit on Reddit where we discuss this on a daily basis, seeing which VPNs work the best. And in my test, Nord has always lead the pack with this kind of category specifically. Lastly, we could talk about the graphical user interface, which I already kind of talked about briefly in the application section. But as you can see here, it's very solid. It's extremely user friendly with different tabs with each kind of section has that mess net feature, which is kind of unparalleled. No one really offers this feature like them it even has interesting dark web monitor features and stuff like that. And you can see different options to search and select servers. And I do like that threat protection feature too. Overall, no complaints with the GOI and they've constantly updated it and improved it over the years. All right, guys, we've made it to the end of this Nord VPN review. Now, this is one of those VPNs I used to be super critical of, but over the years, it's steadily gotten better and better. We see new reasons to use Nord VPN, especially since it's around $60 a year just for one year. Additionally, the application has gotten really good. Speeds have stayed very consistent and it has a Soxify proxy, which makes it very easy to torrent with. It's also got useful features like split tunneling, the mesh network feature. It works insanely good with um, stream compatibility. Customer support is really good too. Some of the cons are that some of the privacy audit can be cleaned up in a little bit, in my opinion. Some of the things are not completely necessary when using and making a privacy service such as a VPN. They could switch from Google Analytics to more privacy Matamo Analytics or something like that. And they could track their kind of user base a little bit less on the website in order to optimize sales. They could also use a little, little less marketing tricks when it comes to all the different sales and things like that, since it can be confusing for customers to know exactly when to get the best deal. Um, but other than that, if you use my link, you should be good in terms of locking in the best price. Overall though, that's my honest review of NordVPN. Thanks for making it to the end of this objective review, and I'll see you again very soon.